men that are very decisive know what they want. I want to take you on a date. I want to go out to here. Let's go. Get, hey, you know what? You should give me your number here. Give me your number. There's not a sense of I hope, I want, uh, will you please? Because that's not decisive. That's kind of in between. That's I'm hoping. And in decisiveness, it's not hoping, it's choice. There's a sense that I'm choosing to do this right now. And either you like it or you don't. That whole idea of being unattached to outcome is in decisiveness too. Because if you don't like it, I'm okay with it. I decided to take this action. I completed it. I'm proud that I did my action. I walked up to this beautiful girl, said what I want to say. And if she doesn't agree with me, that's okay. So in this video, let's talk about the number one mindset that attracts women instantly. I had to think about this a little bit. I had to sit there and ponder it. What would be the number one mindset that would be really attractive to women? I came up with one thing that really stood out in my mind. I'm gonna explain it because this one thing could be used to attract women or could be used to push women away. And that's decisiveness. See, men that are really good with women are really good at making a decision. Matter of fact, they make quick and powerful decisions. Decisions that step them into tension, not away from tension. All day long, they're moving towards tension. They're drawn towards tension. Tension equals fun for them. It's excitement, it's turn on. And men that are bad with women tend to make decisions all day long to step away from tension, to avoid tension, to get rid of tension. So which type are you? Are you the type of man that steps into tension all day long? If you see a beautiful woman walking down the street, do you go, wow, that's scary, I'm gonna run away? Or do you get, wow, there's something about her, she's really cute, I gotta say hi. And within seconds, you're either walking that direction, you're saying hi, you're waving, you're smiling. You see the cute barista, do you immediately ask her about her day? Hey, how's your day going? What's your name anyways? I've never met you, I've never seen you here before, I come in here all the time. Oh, that's interesting. And then you tease her a little bit from there. I was gonna say something else and then my, my mind got distracted, but you tease her a little bit there and you kind of roll from that. And that decisiveness is so powerful. I love going through my day saying hi to everybody. I don't even wanna think about it. I just want it to come out. I see a cute girl, I wanna look her right in the eyes, hold that eye contact. And that's a big part of decisiveness is this decisiveness. I'm gonna hold this eye contact for a minute and let a little tension build. And that little piece, that little bit of holding that tension can be so powerful in moving in the right direction. You see, men that are very decisive know what they want. I wanna take you on a date. I wanna go out to here. Let's go. Get, hey, you know what? You should give me your number here. Give me your number. There's not a sense of I hope, I want, uh, will you please? Because that's not decisive. That's kind of in between. That's I'm hoping. And in decisiveness, it's not hoping, it's choice. There's a sense that I'm choosing to do this right now. And either you like it or you don't. That whole idea of being unattached to outcome is in decisiveness too. Because if you don't like it, I'm okay with it. I decided to take this action. I completed it. I'm proud that I did my action. I walked up to this beautiful girl, said what I want to say. And if she doesn't agree with me, that's okay. And I can move on. There'll be another one down the street. I can let this one go because I'm decisive. Matter of fact, I can decidedly let this girl go. Like I liked her, she was interested, she wasn't interested in me. I'm gonna to decide to move my energy this way now. You see, decisiveness is so powerful because every time you step into tension, you make a decision to step into tension, your life grows. You start to move in a new direction. Your life starts to build some more. So are you decisive? Decisive men also have a strong sense of direction in their life or sense of purpose because they go out and make their life mean something because they're not afraid of the tension. And that is so powerful, think about it. Do you have purpose in your life? Have you decided to go do something bigger with your life, bigger than your life, bigger than any woman's life, something that makes you proud to have been alive? And that's also a part of decisiveness. Think of all the most successful people that you know. I love Richard Branson, everybody knows that. And when you look at his life, he's made a lot of decisions that led him to a powerful place. Matter of fact, every decision either takes you uphill or downhill. And with that said, I wanna add this other piece. You can also be decisive in the wrong direction. You can be decisive in a way that moves you away from tension, that moves you away from responsibility, that avoids being a powerful man. And that's the wrong kind of decisiveness. So if you're ready to become decisive, that means you're ready to start stepping into tension on a regular basis. That means you're ready to start moving. This is why I believe that mystery, the one rule I really like from him, is the three second rule. And that's why I think he created it. This whole idea that within three seconds, move towards a woman to become decisive. 
Later, when you're comfortable and you know you can move on a dime, you can sit on the bar and flirt with, with, with eye contact from across the room. But if you haven't built up the courage through decisiveness to take action right away and to step into tension, you know, you got to learn to do that first before you sit back and practice flirting. The reason that is, is because if you're building anxiety, the longer you wait with about making a decision to take action, the more anxiety that is gonna build in your body. And we don't want that anxiety to build in our bodies. We want courage and confidence and belief in ourselves to build in our bodies. So within three seconds, go. Another great read or a book that would be really good on understanding this is Mel Robbins' Five Second Rule. Check that book out. Because she always says when she's sitting there and she doesn't make a decision, she's being in a sense lazy and she's not taking action, she'll count down five, four, three, two, one, zero, and she has to go within that time. And for some reason, that little countdown makes her take action. Again, decisiveness that built her into a best selling author. Can you be decisive for one day and watch what happens? Within five seconds or three seconds, take action on anything you think about. You see that cute girl? I got to say something to her. I don't care if it's just walk up and ask her the time or the directions. I don't care if it's a walk up and, and tell her she's cute and run away. Something more than you would have done normally. And you have to celebrate each bit of action. It doesn't have to mean you have to get a date and celebrate it. Maybe just walking over is enough to celebrate it. As long as you took action. It could be telling the barista you've always wanted to tell that she's super cute. There's something about her. It could be just saying hi with your heart open all day long. Hey, what's up? How you guys doing? You guys look amazing. Because everything changes with decisiveness. Now think about it, we talk a lot about embodiment here and we know how embodied you are has a huge effect on the people around you. If my heart's open and I say hi to people, everybody all day long, they're gonna respond. They're gonna be like telling me their life story. I know because it happens to me all the time, it happened to me today. I'm talking to the girls at the restaurant I go to and they just don't wanna stop talking. They connect in, I can feel it because I'm locked in through the eyes. But to develop all of those skills, every single one of them, my heart open, my turn on going, it took decisiveness, the willingness to step into tension, take action and practice each one of those skills. I practiced eye contact. Matter of fact, I love the, I'm starting to like the masks from COVID because it forces us to really lock in with our eyes. And I really hold that eye contact. The next thing I do is I make a decision to have my heart open while I'm talking to them. Next thing I do is I make a decision to feel a little turn on or curiosity while I'm talking to her. But each one is a decision. And that decision is getting more powerful and more powerful and more powerful every time I do it. It's becoming automatic. And that's the beauty of it. So hopefully you're loving this video. And if you are, make sure to smash that like button. Put a comment in the video also telling us what you wanna see more of. And if you like this video, let us know what you liked about it. And let us know what you're being decisive with today. And I'm gonna challenge you for 24 hours, go out or one day and be as decisive as you can and write it all down in a journal. Carry that journal like in your back pocket. I like to carry a little journal or maybe something in your phone and just write stuff down as you do it all day long and notice how much more tension you step into. Sometimes your decisiveness is saying no to people. Sometimes it's saying yes, but it's that thing that you're afraid to do where you try to go into avoidance. You try to half decide, you try to make a muddled decision, make a clear concrete decision all day long. So if you're committed to that, I also wanna hear about that in the comments and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of the videos we're putting out because we're growing this channel. There's gonna be more videos, more content and more of what you wanna see. With that said, I hopefully you enjoyed this video, like I said earlier, and I'll see you in the next video. And remember, only the confident really live. Take care, have a beautiful day.